What up y'all, it's Alex here, and we're gonna do an arrangement look at Venus as a Boy by Bjork today. It's gonna be pretty cool. Before we dive into it, uh, I wanted to say thanks for 5,000 subs. We just got there recently. And also, check out my Patreon page if you haven't yet. I've added some new tiers. So basically now, if you want, you can do like a 20-minute video call with me. That's only $13 a month. You can also get a track mixed by me. So if you want, uh, I will mix a track for you once per month. Or you can convert that into two private lessons if you'd like. Also on the Patreon, you can do one-on-one -on -one lessons. You can do a 20-minute lesson or a one-hour lesson. Again, that's $13 or $35. You can just give me five bucks a month to support, uh, and you can get some cool ambient samples for that. Basically, there's a lot of cool stuff you can get. I make almost no money from YouTube or barely, like around $10 a month. So Patreon is really helpful. So, and if you can't do Patreon, then go ahead and share this video on like Reddit, share it with your friends, maybe like just help spread the word because then maybe some of those people can do Patreon. That really helps me. But okay, that's all I got. Let's go ahead and dive into the track. Boom. All right, so we're gonna start off with these little like bell chords and then some drums and let's see how that sounds. <laughs> So I hear it sounds like a 909, a kick happening right around here. Here's those doom bell sounds. I think it's a chord. It sounds kind of like a chord to me. Then you have the shaker. Then you have a little metal sounding percussive element here. A little conga, or a bongo maybe. Maybe that's a little more like that. Okay, and we're gonna do that for four bars. So this is really kind of setting the tone for the track. Then we're gonna bring in a bass line. And then like a reverse gong sort of sound right here. Then a little sitar sound. I assume that I think that's a sitar, right? And we're gonna get a cool thing happening right away. So basically, we have this bass line one, and we're gonna uh, I'm gonna call this bass line two, just because this bass line only happens sometimes, and I feel like uh, let's call this bass line B. This is gonna be bass line A here. But basically, we're gonna go from bass line B into bass line A, and it's gonna be a key change, and this happens this transition happens a lot throughout the track and it's just kind of cool i don't know maybe it's the key change but something about this transition sounds really cool you get a bit of a vibe change so um to go from this section which i guess i i kind of feel like this is the intro but you could think of this maybe as a b section at least these four bars we're now going to go into the a uh that's how i'm thinking of it the a with um a nice chord progression, it sounds like it's some nice synth pads, vocals, uh, the beat continuing, and then some strings coming in with the change of the bass line, which is also, I believe, changing the key. So here we go, let's listen for that. Really nice. So I just want to take a look. So I'm, I'm trying something a little different this time. Um, the different thing is you'll see how there's certain sections that I made white throughout the track. These are what I view as like the lead. So as the track's going on, this is what I view as like the main thing to listen to. At least this is how I'm perceiving it. So just because sometimes I'm referring to leads and I guess a lot of times with track progression, the lead is important, so I don't know. Let's let's see how this works, and maybe if this is helpful to analyze. I don't know if I'll do it for other tracks, but we'll see. But okay, so basically, as the track goes on, you have this vocal melody more or less repeating after eight bars, I believe. Yeah, it basically does the same thing. Let's let's check that real quick. Do do do. Uh huh. Do do do. 
Do 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 pretty much the same. Uh-huh. Yep, so that's pretty cool. So you can see that vocal melody more or less repeats. Um, uh, there's a tiny difference here. Um, but it more or less repeats after eight bars. And you have these nice little string flourishes come in. And so to me, like the vocal and the strings are kind of like the main leads of this section. And it's a little tricky to totally tell. And as hopefully you all know, I'm making like... I'm ultimately guessing how these tracks were uh, produced and stuff, but basically it sounds like at this point in the track, the strings, uh, the chords get a little more extra like beef to them or something, like a little extra vibe. And I think it's because it sounds like the strings, I'm guessing these were real performed strings, uh, whereas I feel like this is probably a synth, but it sounds like the strings might be starting to play chords here too. So listen if you can hear that happening here. And this, this would kind of make sense too, because we're repeating, we're more or less repeating this section. So it'd be nice to like add a little extra umph to it as it goes. If I do, so here, if I just isolate this chord and the different passages, this is where I feel like I can hear it. So listen to how this chord sounds. And now we're going to listen to it here. Oh, wait. I feel like I can hear more harmonics coming out of it. Same for here. I don't hear many here. But yeah, could be wrong, but I'm guessing that's happening here, and then it does seem to drop out there. But okay, we'll keep moving, because basically as this like A section continues on, you're going to have the vocal drop out, and then in to take its place is this nice bell melody. So that's an idea. If you're producing, you can maybe have one section where you have one lead working for a while, and then you can drop that lead and add a different lead. Um, so let's listen for that. Yes, quick I just want to point out how this section is sort of what happens at the beginning here um, so remember we have the intro which is this we basically have a repeat of the intro here but now instead of just four bars with this bass line we're gonna get four bars with a different chord and then that bass line is gonna join and as that chord plays the bells are gonna play a different melody too so to me, this kind of feels more like a B section, like it feels pretty different to this section. And then once again, we're gonna get that key change situation or what I believe is a key change situation uh, right here, uh, which happened over here. And that's just pretty neat. So yeah. Um, let's listen to that one more time and then we're gonna listen to this section and see what else we should talk about, if anything, but okay. <laughs>
cool. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this whole making the stuff white thing, because at some points I started listening to the bass. I don't know. Take this with a huge grain of salt. But okay, I want to talk about the second A section, um, because we have the introduction right at the beginning of a new vocal uh, situation. So over here we have blah blah blah. We're gonna call this one. Now we have three, which is And so this is neat too because we have um we can call this, we'll just call this vocal three. We have vocal part three, which is a whole new part playing with the bells. So we've never had uh, vocals and bells playing at the same time. So now we have a whole new vocal part with the bells playing, um, which is pretty neat. And then if you notice this, it seems like the string starts to be playing chords like the whole time as well. So I think we're getting an intensity rising in the strings. Then after we do this vocal three, we're gonna go back to vocal one, which we had here, but now we have it with the bells and um, with those strings that are, I believe, doing a bit more. So that helps keep this section interesting. And then once again, we're gonna have a drop off where we just get bells and strings, which is kind of reminiscent of this part. Let's hear if it sounds different at all. So let's listen to, to let's listen to the new one first. that sounds pretty much the same and note you have that sitar sound happening every once in a while which is pretty cool um i, I like having little sounds like that happening sometimes because it's just like a little it's kind of like a hook this sounds pretty memorable but sometimes like for sounds like this you could place just something super standout ish and that will stay in the listener's head pretty well but yeah that's there um and it happens periodically um, okay, so we talked about this section, how we're having a new vocal part with the bells, and we go back to the original part with bells, which we've never had before. Then we have basically the same uh, drop-off situation. And now I believe for this last section, we're basically just going to do this part again. Um, it looks like we'll have more vocals on the B section, so that'll be a little bit of a different B section. But then we're gonna more or less uh, go back into this. So let's let's go see what this looks like. And by the way, if you're um, enjoying the video so far and you are curious, I give private lessons. I also give track feedback. Uh, you can check all this out on my Patreon page. I really appreciate it. I barely make any money at all on YouTube, so it's really Patreon. So. Yeah, if you want some extra goodies like samples, I have a bunch of ambient samples from Detroit, Berlin, Austin, Toledo, Ann Arbor uh, that I made on a nice Zoom recorder. You can get those, you can get track feedback, private lessons, blah, blah, blah. So check that out. Okay, cool. Um, but here we go. Now let's listen again. We're gonna listen to the end of this and go into here. Okay, so this section here is actually, uh, I, there's there's a few differences I want to point out to like when it, how it is when it happens over here. So right away, you'll hear these extra congas playing and then some strings. So you didn't have strings on any of the greens so far, but now you do with those congas here, those congas here. That might not be a, 
all a Kong here. You hear that doom, 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 doom. I'm not sure what drum that is. Is it a djembe? I'm not sure. One of y'all probably knows. Comment below if you do, uh, if you feel like it. Um, but okay. So yeah, this section is a little bit different. We're getting a little more flourish, which is pretty typical as a track goes on. This is pretty common, right? To like add a little more flourishes to sections you've already done before. Um, with that comment in mind, when we eventually do get back, well, hold that for a second. We do the bass twice as long here as we do here. So basically this like B section is just a little bit more f fleshed out than it has been before. All before we go back into this last, uh, sort of last A. I'm just gonna call it an A. And um, notice that the strings at the beginning are going Something about that I f feel like it adds a little drama and that helps make this section interesting again. It probably would have been interesting without that. But you know, this is the last time we're hearing this this pretty like passionate sounding vocal. So I like having that, that string um, doing that little flourish at the beginning there. You'll notice we have I didn't I didn't make all the string embellishments here straight up, but we're having some more vocal embellishments happening too, which I'm gonna pull put up here. Here we go. Um, let's keep listening again. <laughs> Let me do this. Extra vox. Uh, again, why not add some like background or like extra vocals for this section that we've already heard before? That makes it a little more interesting, a little more zesty. Um, yeah, just super super common move when you've when you've done a section already. Do it again with a little embellishment, and then you're gonna have these next. Here, let's just keep. Let's just finish this out. I'm gonna do that one more time. I basically have a cool string outro. Let's just listen to the rest of it. Pretty neat, right? So yeah, let's let's go back to this real quick. So like I said, we have this last A section where we're getting some extra vox. Then when that, uh, then we're going to switch from this more like vocal driven thing that we've already heard before and go into something new, which is basically by having these two vocal tracks um, kind of more just doing like, I actually didn't listen to the words, but to me this sounds more of like a improvised sort of feel like da 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 da, -da. like more just feeling yourself rather than saying actual words. Is that, is that right? <laughs> I don't know if this is Icelandic or some language, I don't know, but that's how I'm perceiving it um, as someone who might not know the language you're speaking, or maybe this is random words, I don't know. Someone jump in, 
so I feel pretty stupid right now. <laughs> so if you know, please comment below. But um, yeah, basically the strings start doing their thing here. They take on a, let's, let's listen to those again. Like they're just having a bit of a moment with those vocals which it's if you have headphones or stereo monitors you'll probably hear that one is very much in the left and one's more in the right um if you're listening on one single speaker you probably can't hear that difference slash i think you definitely can't by definition but yeah that's cool and then we basically just go into a fade out with bass line a and then the strings dancing a bit um and that's the track let's listen to this section one more time We have that weird drum, do whoop, can't remember what it's called. All right, and that is the track, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the Patreon. I really appreciate it, y'all. Patreon people really um, mean a lot and keep this. Uh, it's just great. Really appreciate it. Okay, and if you can't do Patreon, go ahead and post this on Reddit. Post this wherever you can. Tell some friends. Let's, if you can help me get my views up, that'd be great because then maybe some of those people can do Patreon. But cool. Hope you're well. Have a good day. Adios. Peace.